Worship has the ability to change our emotions. We can be fearful, we can be angry, we can be frustrated. And when we begin to sing and worship God and sing the word, those words become alive in us and they actually change our emotions. Hey everyone, I'm Julie Meyer and welcome to the show, Singing the Scriptures. We are going to be walking through the Psalms. And don't worry if you are not a singer, this show is for everyone. I have designed it so that it would be interactive, that we would start with a time of worship, that we would study the Psalm, that there would be a powerful prophetic prayer released over your life and that we would end in a time of soaking worship. So grab your Bible and come along with me as we learn this ancient form of breakthrough called singing the scriptures. And Holy Spirit, come like a Paul tells us in Colossians 3.16 to let the Word of Christ be fully alive in us as we teach and encourage one another in all wisdom, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Engaging with God in this way is the foundation of our online worship community called Into the River, and it is helping hundreds of others find personal breakthrough in their lives all around the world. I want to invite you to join Into the River today at juliemeyer.com. Hey everyone, welcome to our studio. Today we're going to be talking and singing through Psalm 1, the blessings that come from meditating on the Word day and night. So grab your Bible, turn to Psalm 1. We're going to start with a time of worship where we sing through Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who meditates 
My name is Sarah, and I'm a part of Julie's Into the River worship community. My life can be busy and full of distractions. Imagine the joy and peace that we would feel if we surround ourselves with the constant worship of God. As a full-time working mom, this can be difficult, but now it's as easy as pushing a button. Into the River is a 24-7, never-ending, always playing worship radio for you to take with you in your car, workplace, or home. Never leave God's presence and bring peace wherever life takes you. Join hundreds of other like-minded believers from all around the world. Find God's peace in an atmosphere of nonstop worship. Join us today and sign up at juliemeyer.com. Welcome back to Singing the Scriptures as we are walking through Psalm. Today we're going to be talking about Psalm 1. And let me start by asking you a question. Do you want to prosper in all that you do in life? Because Psalm 1 gives us instructions on how to prosper and it gives us the promise on what we need to do to prosper. So let's read verses one through three. These are what we're going to focus on today for, uh, for a more in-depth study. You can actually go to our intotheriver.net and join our online worship community. But today we're going to talk about the first three verses. And I'm reading out of the New Living Translation, and it says, Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers. And in verse 2, But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. This is an incredible promise. This is a psalm that David wrote, probably just meditating on the Torah and any Hebrew scriptures that he had at the time. He wrote Psalm 1 for us. It is a progression on being Christ-like, on making right choices before God when no one is looking, and the benefits of making right choices in life. So let me talk about a couple words. Uh, the King James Version actually says, uh, blessed is the man or blessed is the one. And the word blessed, it actually means happy or it means content, but it, it's even deeper than just that word. It means supremely, supremely happy or supremely fulfilled and content is the one who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly or stand in the path of sinners or sit in the seat of the scornful. Many believe that that is a progression into darkness. First you walk, then you stand, and then you sit. But this is our progression starting in verse 2. But they who delight in the law of the Lord. Um, and the law of the Lord, it's the word of God. It's his commandments, his testimony. He's basically saying the same thing over and over in a little different way. And he says, meditate it, David writes, but blessed is the one who meditates on the word of God day and night. And that word meditate, what it means, it means to ponder the word. It means to think about it. It means to speak about it, to study it, to talk about it, to utter it. It also means to roar it. And I think, what more sounds like a roar than when you sing the scriptures? That's why I love to sing Psalm 1, to meditate. It means to have it in your heart, in your mind. You know, day and night you're thinking about it. It actually is causing you to make right choices in life. And if you say, oh, I need that, then we can simply ask the Spirit of God to help you 
make your chief delight be the word of God. And he will actually uh, begin to stir that within you. That's what's so beautiful about Psalm 1. But when we get to verse 3, this is our promise. This is a, pros- a promise of, of prosperity and blessing. Because he says, if you meditate and think about it and sing it and write it and talk about the word of God day and night, He said, you will be like trees that are planted along the riverbank. And when trees are planted along the riverbank, there's no barren trees there. Their roots are growing deeper. They get what they need every second of the day. They're getting all their nourishment from this, from the fresh waters. And I love that. And it's a promise that they will bear fruit in each season. Their leaves never wither. Is that, do you want that in your life? Their leaves never wither and they prosper in all that they do. And when I asked you that question at the very beginning, do you want to prosper? Well, this is the very, very simple steps. Don't walk in a progression of sin with evildoers. We want to minister to the lost of the world, but we don't want to follow and take their advice for wrong and bad choices. But we want to, number one, meditate on the word of God day and night and night and day. Sing it, talk about it, write it. And our promise is that we will be like a tree. And this is a promise to prosper in all that we do. And that word prosper, it actually means to break forth. It means to spring forth. And it's really a promise that even in a season where you feel dry, that God will still work so that there will be a breaking forth and a breaking out. It is his promise that God will bring forth something good in your life in every single season. I want to pray this psalm over you right now. Lord, I pray for every listener that by your spirit, you would stir up a hunger for your word, for your testimonies, for your commandments, God. I pray that as we hunger and we think about your word day and night and night and day, that we would be like a tree planted by those streams of water, that our roots would be strong, that they would go down deep, that it would keep us steady in every season, that we would get nourished nourishment in every single season and that everything we do, that you will bring about something good, that you will bring about prosperity and success in every season of our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Coming up next, my friend Joan Hunter is going to read through Psalm 1 and pray Psalm 1 over you, specifically in that all you would do, you would prosper. You do not want to miss this. Julie Meyer created a special offer just for you. Head over to juliemeyer.com slash Sid Roth before it's too late. Julie is including her powerful book, Singing the Scriptures, and her two-part audio CD teaching set, Singing Your Way to Breakthrough, and her instrumental music audio CD, Sing, yours for a donation of $40. Through her powerful book, you will understand that engaging God in song unleashes new levels of his power, and you don't need to be a musician to do it. Find out King David's strategy to gaining deep intimacy with the Lord. Understand how to make your singing the scriptures personal. Songs of praise, songs of joy. Discover how to sing the scriptures in a way that it becomes a battle weapon of praise. Through Julie Meyer's anointed two-part audio teaching CD, Singing Your Way to Breakthrough, Julie Meyer is going to teach you how to take a breakthrough scripture, personalize it, and begin to sing it until its power is released in you. It will help reveal to you the missing key to accessing your breakthrough. Julie Meyer and her son Isaac have created for you this special instrumental music audio CD entitled Sing to ignite your passion and inspiration for new prophetic songs that usher in the supernatural of God. This audio CD includes seven different musical styles and chord progressions for singing the word, developing choruses, and finding new melodies. 
Our body is responding to the Word of God about healing, and that's the power of singing the Bible. I, I have never seen it put together, and as you put it, it's designed for the non-singer. It's designed for people like me, and I'm convinced the reason most people aren't physically healed, they got it here. They say, I absolutely believe, but they don't have it here. And singing gets it in that second brain here. Don't miss out on getting Julie Meyer's powerful book, Singing the Scriptures, and her two-part audio CD teaching set, Singing Your Way to Breakthrough, and her instrumental music audio CD, Sing, yours for a donation of $40. If you order now, Julie Meyer will include her new CD called Jesus is the Vine for free. Jesus is the Vine is a spontaneous soaking album of Julie singing from John 15 and is suited for soaking times, healing, and refreshing. You don't want to miss this incredible offer. Go to juliemeyer.com slash Sid Roth and get this special offer today. And Holy Spirit, come like a Hi, this is Joan Hunter, and I am the president of Joan Hunter Ministries, and I have an awesome, amazing worldwide healing ministry. I'm also good friends with Julie Meyer, and I'm also the daughter of Charles and Francis Hunter. A lot of you may be familiar with who they are. And I'm going to be sharing with you Psalm 1. And I love the Psalms and, and the peace and everything that the Psalms represent. But today, I'm going to be sharing with you, once again, Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers. But those who delight in the law of the Lord, he who meditates on his law day and night, that person is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Now I'm going to take just a moment here and just talk about this for a second. As the trees are planted by the rivers, their roots go down deep and they draw nutrients, they draw uh, nourishment, they draw water from those very roots. And it's so important that we go down deep and go deeper in the Lord. Now also it says here, and whatever, whatever they do, whatever we do, it will prosper. God desires for us to prosper. God wants us healed in every area of our life and not to leave out finances. And it says here, whatever they do prospers, not so the wicked. They are like shaft that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Now, I want to encourage you on this particular scripture. We're going to pray in just a second. But I want you to declare and decree that I am like a tree planted by the streams of water. And I am putting my roots down to really, really go deep in God. And the more I draw near to God, obviously, the more He's going to draw near to me. And as we come together in a greater way, we're going to, in particular us, draw from Him the living water and all the different areas of our lives. We can go down deep into the riches of His glory, of His nu nutrition, and just literally get our hearts, our minds, our bodies filled because Jesus is our living water. And as it has said earlier, that everything we shall do shall prosper. And I want to encourage you, this is a time when you need to speak over your finances, you need to speak over your life, you need to speak over different areas uh, that you are involved in because you know what? It's not just about money. It can be your health. And everything I lay my hand to do shall prosper. So I thank you, Father, that my health is prospering that my life is prospering, my children are prospering in every area of their life, in the area of their body, their mind, their soul, their spirit, 
and their finances. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I send the word of healing to each person that is hearing me today. And right now, Father, I thank you that you are sending abundance their way, not just abundance in the area of finances, but abundance in every, every area of their lives. And Father, I just thank you for supernaturally manifesting yourself to them. And, and I also want to tell you that it's very, very important here that the word says that, you know, you draw near to me and I'll draw near to you. So God's going to draw near to you. Now the streams of water, the rivers, etc. And I often talk about how God wants us to be rivers of his finances, not reservoirs. But on the side of rivers are banks. God bless you. Wow, thank you, Joan Hunter, for that powerful prayer from Psalm 1. There's so many benefits from meditating on the Word of God day and night. And we're going to do that right now as we worship through Psalm 1, verse 3.
To show you a few examples of various psalms which Into the River members have sang to find personal breakthrough, just like King David. Each psalm is for you to soak or to play in your house or business, or for you to sing along. I will, I will praise you. I will worship you with all my. Psalm 32. A psalm of David. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. When God came down, because he heard my cry. Sing. Joining Into the River today will give you immediate access to over 45 psalms, prophetically saying for you to use in your own devotional life. In addition, Bible studies and live interactive classes with world-renowned leaders such as Stacy Campbell, James Gall, Sean Boltz, and many others. Into the River is constantly growing as we add a new psalm and class each month, plus weekly Bible studies. Join Into the River today at juliemeyer.com. Thank you for joining us today on singing the scriptures. Next week we're going to be singing and studying Psalm two. If you have a desire to go deeper into the Psalms, I want to invite you to join our online worship community. And you can look us up at intotheriver.net. I look forward to seeing you there. And Holy Spirit.